A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English. English is such so much fun. English education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Uh -huh. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Start the show. Are you ready? Good, plus here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English. Hi everyone, and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura, and today we're with Simon and Lucia as they talk about education. Wow! Just some differences between schools in Taiwan and, in this case, schools in England. But let's warm up by asking, what do you know about schools in other countries? So we're talking about other countries, maybe very different from you guys.、Mm -hmm. Now, in Australia, where I grew up, schools are full of fun. And exciting activities. We actually have drama classes where we get to act out different characters and stories, which you would love.、Mm. And our school also organizes fun festivals with games and performances that we all look forward to. And during break time, we enjoy playing sports like. Cricket and soccer with our friends, and sometimes we have outdoor classes to enjoy the sunshine and fresh air. Nice. Yeah, it's very different from Taiwan, so it was, it's a very joyful and enriching experience at school. Thinking well, back,、mm, well, obviously I know a lot about the UK schools.、So mm. I'll leave most of that until we、right. get into our article. I will say though, I have taught a few different classes of Japanese middle school students.、Wow. Uh, they came to Taiwan for an English teaching、mm. weekend, and I have to say they are super polite,、mm. super kind of friendly and eager to learn,、Aww. but also super quiet and shy. shy. So、mm. compared to Taiwanese middle school students, it was it was kind of nice to teach a group of quieter kids、right? for a bit,、mm -hmm. um, but. It, after a while, you're like, you guys like do stuff, make noise, have fun, talk. But there you go. So let's find out what Simon and Lucia are talking about in today's article. Culture shock. Simon and Lucia learn about education. Warm-up question: What do you know about schools in other countries? So excited for my friend Mindy. Why is that? Is she getting married? No, silly. She's already married. Her son is going to the UK to study at college. Wow, that's great news. Um, I remember he wants to study medicine, right? Yes. Oh, he should go to uni then. Medicine is an advanced subject. So we start off by seeing that Lucia is looking at her phone, and she seems excited, and she confirms this because she says, "Oh, I'm so excited." For my friend Mindy. Mindy. So, how often would you say that you are on your phone? Oh, uh, very, uh, very, very often. I actually、mm -hmm. check my、um, Instagram story, like my friends' Instagram stories, and I use it for chatting with my friends. Okay. And watching Netflix. That's、uh, very important. And I wouldn't、please. do that. My phone's too small for that. No, I actually I find them very great to、okay. relax and playing games. Yeah. Well, I saw a, a thing about my screen time, and it was something、mm. only like twenty minutes a day. And I thought, is it really that low?、Mm. I'm surprised. But I guess it didn't count the time when I've got my music on, listening to my phone,、oh. but the screen's not on. Right. So if you add that, it would be a bit longer because I'm listening to stuff on my way to work and back. But actually, just being on the phone, it's not that much. And I guess because at work I've got my computer, I can use、mm -hmm. that if I want to. 
to quickly look at Facebook, the news, whatever. So I don't need to use my phone really all that much. So therefore, my screen time is quite low. You can actually set times to yeah, to remind you. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop it. Stop looking at me. Right. So we continue. Simon looks confused at Lucia's statement about being happy, and she and he says, "Why is that?" Is she getting married? Okay, which of course <laughs> is a sort of okay. Yeah, you know, that's the kind of good news that someone.、Mm. Oh, great news! This person's married. This person's pregnant.、Right. That kind of thing.、Um, yeah, weddings are always a happy occasion. I've not been to one for quite a while now. Wow! I think most of my friends of my age are either already married <gasps> or they're not going to get married. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've been to lots of weddings actually, because、mm-hmm. you know. Covid's gone and everybody's like, oh, yeah, let's have weddings, yeah.、Again. And yeah, you, it's basically、um, like I think the most important thing in Taiwan that's very different from the Western is that we give red envelopes、mm-hmm. to the newlyweds as a gift. I think this is just a traditional way to wish them happiness. Yeah, yeah. And but I think it, there have been to very traditional ones,、um, and parents want their kids to follow customs like. You know, having a traditional tea ceremony at the、oh. wedding. Have you seen those? I've not seen a tea ceremony.、Mm, no, it's very formal. Feng Cha. I、mm. kind of almost like it as something a bit different. Ah, but it's not a wedding that's going on here. Lucy says, "No, silly. <laughs> she's already married."、Oh. And maybe this is why、okay. Simon was confused. Like she's、yeah. getting married, but she's she's older. She、Especially. has. We find out she has a kid. <laughs> right. Because Lucy says her son is going to the UK. To study at college,、hmm. so that's another good news thing. And Simon, of course, says, "Wow, that's great news." So,、hmm. what what have you you've,、uh, you've not studied in the UK?、Mm, but when you、Australia. think about okay, go to UK study. What do you imagine? Do you imagine it being Harry Potter? Oh, probably. Yeah, it, it's not. It, it's not. Maybe one or two schools. That's a bit. I think one thing that I really like when I, because my brother actually went to、um, oh, England. Oh, there you so, go. So school uniforms. I think、yes. they look real. Well, Harry Potter has really neat uniforms. As yeah. Well, and that's definitely very different from Taiwan school uniforms. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our uniforms are a bit more like the the Taiwan schools, like really、um, formal ones. Yeah, I、um, like those. But half the time in Taiwan,、Classy. students are just in their sports uniforms.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was at school, I had to. We had a tie we had to wear all day.、Right? We had a blazer we had to wear when walking around. You could not wear running shoes. I love those at blazers,、all. by the way.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I enjoyed. <laughs> did, I enjoyed setting fire to、right. it all at the end when I could finally start wearing it. It does make things easier to,、yeah. to just not have to figure out your clothes every day. But suit. It was almost like a suit.、Wow. Really、Another、school. thing I think people would love to study in UK is. They have like in Taiwan, we have really long school hours. Ah, yes. They finish off earlier. Yeah, we'll mention that a bit later.、Yes. But first, we'll see that Simon is thinking about something. He's not too fast, is、mm. Simon? It takes a while for thoughts to process、right. in his head, and he says, "I remember." He wants to study medicine, right?、Ooh. And Lucia says, "Yes." He sounds smart, then. Right? <laughs> yeah. Was that something? Would, did you ever consider medicine? Never.、Okay. I actually I'm terrible at chemistry, biology,、ah. or any science related subject. Yes. I. I'm pretty sure that you must have considered this. I did, but mostly because my dad is a doctor. There you so go. So you kind of grow up thinking maybe I could be、mm. a doctor too. So I did this、uh, like a four day experience. I went to a university. We'll、right. talk about the difference in a moment. Learned what it'd be like to be a medical student,、mm-hmm. and decided. No, that's hard. <laughs> I don't want to work, work that hard. So Simon now looks confused again.、Oh. He's like, "Hang on." So he's going to the UK. He's going to college, but he wants to study medicine,、mm. and he says he should go to uni. Then、ah. medicine is an advanced subject.、For、sure. Okay, and、mm. that's because, as we'll talk about, there's a difference between college and uni.、Mm. Before we get to that, we talk. He says medicine is an advanced subject. What would you say are other 
advanced. Um, besides、subjects. medicine,、yeah. I think very cool fields to explore, like maybe、uh, space explor- Ooh, exploration、yeah. and law. Law is law pretty. Law is yeah, pretty. And、so、maybe I'm thinking about more science ones, like medicine, environmental science, something like that. Okay. And of course, studying medicine to me、yeah. that sounds it takes a lot of work. Five years、yeah. or more. And I think you have to learn also how to treat patients. Like you have to learn like communication skills.、Too. Yeah,、um, a lot of medicine、yeah. medics will they will get、uh, a degree in medicine,、right. but also a degree in surgery in case right, they right, decide right. to become surgeons. So let's take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about uni versus college. Uh, what? Uh, wait, I thought university and college were the same thing. Not in the UK. We have the choice of finishing secondary school at 16. We can then choose to stay at school for A levels, or we can go to a college to get a vocational qualification or A levels. Is college in the UK more like vocational high school in Taiwan? Yes. So. We don't call a uni a college in the UK. British versus American English. Uni. University. College. Welcome back, everyone. So we're talking about Simon and Lucia's friend's son, who's going to college. In、hmm. the UK, but Simon says he should go to uni. uni. Now, as we see in the picture, Lucia looks confused and says, "What? Wait! I thought university and college were the same thing." Which, in US English,、yeah. which is taught here in Taiwan,、right? they are.、Hmm. Okay, so that's this is a kind of cultural confusion that. Can happen. I had a bunch of these when I moved to Taiwan. Just、uh, say, saying a few words wrong here、anymore. and there, and well, just yeah. I, I would say, hey, where's the lift? And people say, what? <laughs> Elevator. Gonna lift you up. Back、yeah. to that later. Same here. When I first went to Australia, I didn't know what ta meant. Ta. It was like thank you. So、mm-hmm. when my teacher said it to me, I was like, huh? And also when I asked for chips. Thinking I get potato chips, but then I got French fries. Yeah, there you go. It's just a bit of good fun. Okay,、yeah. so Simon and Lucy are now going to sort this out. We see a picture. Simon and Lucy are discussing, and Simon says, "Not in the UK. College and uni are different. We have the choice of finishing secondary school at sixteen." He then says, "We can then choose to stay at school for A levels, which is a type of qualification. It's、mm. like kind of the senior high school get into university、ah. tests." And then he says, "Or we can go to a college to get a vocational qualification." Or A levels,、ah. so vocational would be like a work skill. You could learn、mm. a bit about how to do electricity or computers、oh. or something physical, even stuff like farm related or、mm. you know driving big trucks or buses. Any kind of skill, but A levels. This is what you would take. That's usually the way to go into uni. Now you could do this at a number of different schools. My、ah. school,、uh, a lot of kids left at sixteen. They went off to different schools.、Mm-hmm. Some even. Got jobs because you could back then because sixteen was end of school. Now it's eighteen. I stayed in my school, just moved to a different building in that school,、mm. stopped wearing uniform, and studied A levels, which is usually、wow. the go to university tests. That's kind of similar to the ones in Australia.、Um, I thought it was、yeah, the systems are very similar. The same. Okay, well let's continue to find out if Simon is going to explain the difference between uni college. I think she's very confused there. Yeah, she asks. Is college in the UK more like vocational high school in Taiwan?、Mm. And Simon says yes. We don't. So we don't call a uni a college in the UK.、Mm. Now there's an extra confusion. If you went to either Oxford or Cambridge,、wow. you might actually live and study in. 
a college, which is just oh, okay. one of their. Me- the Oxford and Cambridge、right? have like twenty different colleges:、mm. Queens, Kings, Christ Church. You、mm-hmm. know all these different names of individual、wow. buildings where、cool. students would not just live and eat, maybe study.、Mm. So it really gets confusing. But what's a vocational high school?、Um, I think it's basically students focus more on、um, practical skills and、mm-hmm. knowledge, like related to specific like trades or industries. Yeah, yeah, and of course the advantage is they can get hands-on experience, right?、Mm. Uh, but there's another like disadvantage is that some people may think、mm, maybe vocational schools have fewer academic opportunities compared to regular high schools. Yeah, now that's an entire big question to deal with by itself. Not one we'll deal with today,、yes. though. I'm going to hand over to Laura now to teach you about today's word power and magic box expressions, and I'll join you in a moment for the review. Time. Bye. 来看一下今天学到哪些 word power words. Get married 这个片语呢，就是结婚。那其中的 get 它的动词三态变化是 get, got, gotten。那很多人谁和谁结婚就会用 A marry with B， 这是错误的说法哦。最简单就是 A and B got married or they got married。那如果大家要说 A 娶啊，或是嫁给 B 啊，我们只需要说 A married B， 这样就可以不要加那个 with。For example, in a fairy tale, the prince and princess fell in love and got married. 在童话故事当中，王子和公主相爱并且结婚了。看一下单词例句 ：William and Ruby had a baby after they got married last year. William 和 Ruby 去年结婚后有了一个小孩。还有，我们看到 study， 注意它是当做动词来用，就是读书啊，或是学习。For example, she studies hard to improve her language skills. 她努力学习以提高她的语言能力。又或者呢 ，Max studies science because he wants to be an engineer. Max 研读科学，因为他想要成为一名工程师哦。再来，我们看到是 news， 它是。不可数名词，所以它有这个消息啊，或者是新情况，或者是新闻。所以一则新闻记得就不要用 a news， 因为不可数嘛。我们可以用量词 a piece of news， 或者如果你要硬要用 a， 你可以说 a news story or a news report。OK， 那我们来看一下例句要怎么用。Did you hear the news? There is a new movie coming out. 你听到消息了吗？有部新的电影要上映。哦、oh, ，是芭比吗？<笑>再来看一下单词例句。Did you hear the good news? Mara got a new job. <笑>你听到那只好消息了吗 ？Mara 找到新工作了。再来就是 same 这个形容词就有的相同的、啊、同样的。通常我们跟 the 搭配 the same。相反词当然是 different。For example, the twins wore the same outfits to the party and looked adorable. 这对双胞胎他们穿着相同的这个服装参加派对，超可爱。来看一下单词例句怎么用哦。My brother and I have the same kindergarten teacher. 我弟弟跟我的幼稚园老师是同一位哦。好，接着就要来聊聊不可数的用法。呃，不可数名词的用法，因为它是无法用数字来计算，它有的时候可能是有抽象的概念啊，比如说像水啊，有没有 water， 钱啊 ，money， 还有 milk 一体的那种牛奶，那我们就不可以在它前面加 a 或是 an。如果要表达它的数量，我们可能会用 some、a lot of 这些量词，或是更确切的，也可以用什么 a cup of， 啊、呃，或是时间，可能会说 an hour of 等等哦。我们来看一下例句会更清楚哦，像是 Would you like some milk in your cereal？ 哎，你的麦片会想要加一点一些牛奶吗？或者是如果说，哎，我玩得好开心哦，一整天都很开心。那因为饭不可能数它是一个很开心还是什么的，我们可以说 We had a day of fun at the amusement park。我们在游乐园玩了一整天，非常开心。好啦，以上就是我的部分的教学，希望你们现在都很清楚哦。Now let's go to review time. Review time. 
So in our article, there was a bit of confusion about college and uni、mm-hmm. because some words are different in British English. I'm going to see how many Laura knows、okay. by giving her a word, and I'm going to ask her: Is it the same in British English or different?、Mm. So let's go through these. Elevator, a lift.、It's、you lift. mentioned right.、Yeah. Vacation, holiday. Yeah, we'd say holiday. Lunch. That's the same. Yes, motorbike. Is that the same? It is. Oh, okay. Chips. Is that like、uh, what I mentioned before? Kind of. Chips for us means pota- French fries,、uh, French fries and、mm. chips means、yeah. po- like potato、That's、chips、right. in the US.、Mm-hmm. Apartment. Flat. Indeed. Street.、Uh, that's the same. It is the same. Right. Sidewalk. Is it pavement? It is <gasps> pavement.、Yay. Doctor. That's the same. It is the same. Beer. We all love beer. That's the same. <laughs> yes, there's just more of it. Okay,、mm, that's right. <laughs> all right, those. Yes,、yeah. so not every word is different, and you might be surprised by a few things like truck、right. and lorry and things Ooh, like that、right. as well. But that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow for part two as Simon and Lucia learn about education. See you then. Bye for now. Hey, Mr. Z, 呢？我又被放出来透透气了。自从啊，我变成鬼之后，我每天啊都不断的提醒自己，可以做什么，不能做什么，应该要怎么样，不应该要怎么样。I tell myself that I should behave well. 哎，因为啊，如果我不能好好的控制自己，伤害人类的话，可就完蛋了。干不得 ，Let's go！ 我一定做得到的。是的。应该不应该？我们呢用到的就是这个，你一定很常听到的语气助动词 should， 用来表示啊建议或是劝告哦。I tell myself that I should behave well。哎，我天天啊都提醒自己要守规矩，不能乱来。这句话啊有一种劝告我自己的意味哦。那特别注意的是 ，should 后面呢一定是加上。原形动词哦，除了呢表示建议或是劝告以外，它也可以用来表示哎这个责任或是义务，或者是呢预期啊推测一些可能性的这种应该。哎，像是 I should get enough sleep to control my temper。没错，我应该啊要足够的睡眠才能控制住我的情绪哦。像这样子呢，就有建议的 should 的感觉啦。那如果呢是责任或是义务这种 should， 像是哎、欸，我认为啊，既然我拥有这么大的能力，我就应该要保护我的家人。I should protect my family。嗯，最后啊，这种表示预期推测的 should 可以怎么用呢？好，我们说到这个呢，啊，先让我哭一下好了，因为呢，我就想到我死去的妈妈 ，She should be in heaven now。当然，他现在应该到了天堂。Oh, Kasa, 你在天堂还好吗 ？I miss you so much. 好，最后呢，也要跟大家补充一下啦。如果呢要将 should 变为否定的用法，就在后面加上 not 就可以喽。I should not eat people. 没错，这是恶鬼才会做的事情。我不应该吃人的。将 should not 缩写成 shouldn't 也是没有问题哦。I shouldn't eat people. 米娜桑，各种 should 的用法学起来了吗？好哇，那我们下次见喽。Sayonara.